streets. Make sure y'all really tune in when it drops. I'm gonna have my son Vanguard definitely work on this video. I'm, we're gonna definitely do a post. We're gonna probably do a post out. Make sure like people can DM. It's gonna be secluded still. We can't have anybody or anybody pulling up. Good. I mean? So we're gonna have people come in and we're gonna get lit for real. You can get sturdy. <laughs> what part of the Bronx are you from? Um, over by Gun Hill. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. I I kind of know like, like the uh, like the like where like Shy K. So that's like where I be at and shit over there. All the way by Shy K. Oh shit. Where is that by ECG? Uh, I'm not sure. In a, in a fly ECG. Yeah, I be around them areas. I be around them. Like Flatbush, Utica. Ave, my grandma lives on. Oh, you told my yeah, yeah, yeah. That's on the yeah, that's on the five train. That's like the end of the five train route. I'm on the other side of the end. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna get lit in this video. Like I said, we be cutting promos for this. You're gonna be seeing this on all your feeds all the time. <sighs> gotta get the best cameramans on this shit. You gotta get the best right. people on this. Everybody, if you're gonna pull up to this shit, get sturdy, get active, get lit. Shit, Stay safe smooth. out here because we're we, we gonna get crazy on this shit. Cause like I said, Gotta do crazy things. You're, You're gonna, gonna see these top shit. basketball stars for like warming up to your song because of what because of what hey, he hey, has. John, he knows John how to do man. all that hey, stuff. John, I don't know how he do that. I know. I know. Hey, imagine not, John Morant just starts warming up and he hears his song like shit. He gonna, he gonna get, he's gonna get all his boys yeah. with the red laser again. He'll be like, oh, where's that clutch at? <laughs> nah, yo, man. definitely not gonna be sleeping. This is like straight motivation. Like this is man. Like really, like, a lot. Even a lot of people right now like asking me like, oh, can I repost or do this shit for them? Nah, bro. Like. You that shit is so I annoying. Doing, and you be around me, what I be doing. So do the same shit. Exactly. Look for your. Look, you, as soon as in the same way I find you, find the same way. I'm telling you how to do it. And you wanna act? You wanna jump on my wagon and make me yeah. do it for everybody? I can't do that, bro. That's why. Exactly. Like I just did this one song with my boy Polo Shock. Shot my boy Polo Shock. Uh, what happened was that in the line, I go, you know, uh, shit. What was it? Uh, feels good rejecting girls who once ignore me say little to the ones who built and restored me mm. basically that line is saying that everybody that's coming back in my life were all these people that were you know hating on me doing shit that you know they were clowning me oh you want to be a rapper you want to do this like you're never going to make it but when I made it they were like yo remember me and I'm like yeah I remembered you you gave me the motivation to be where I'm at now thank you for hating on me I don't fuck with you. Basically, and, it's just like yeah, with yeah, the, you're I'm you're saying. basically just like fuck them niggas. You yeah, know what I mean? basically. But next question, like since since you're from the Bronx and I fucking love the Bronx, I love New York. I fucking like hey, I man, wish I could be out. Hey, like bro, I bro, I, I just I don't bro. know. Like I just feel like I'm at home when I'm out there. Like I go to the bodega, all that shit. Like feel me, I be out there like dolly by myself and shit. I drive, so it's like. I don't really like i'd be out there like if i'm not working in here like i'd be out there just like doing my th i know matt yeah, has out there just, be just smoking on the block like i like all that shit i don't know but uh well oh yeah how do you feel about the drill scene currently like what's up with it the drill scene like I do you like that, that shit or not really nah yeah i fuck i fuck with drill fuck with drill i think drill still going like people talk pop smoke all the yeah people talk about drill is dying but drill is running right now and it's still gonna be running like yeah yeah it might die at some point like any other thing that's growing. because there's like, always a get back yeah, that's the problem you know there's I mean? always gonna be a get back but no matter what like i right, boom it goes just like this there's songs that was playing when we was younger that thought that would never get played again, like um, in those type of genres, right? Yeah. Now that we old, they don't get played no more because those shits is legendary now. The same thing with Drill. Drill going, it's like, save Drill dies out in 10 years. The generation that starts in the next 20 years, they're going to be listening to Drill throughout the next They're going to start their own new Drill wave. Next season is going to be playing in, in Drill music. JC Penny going to be playing Drill music because that's going to be the music that's going to be... Gen um, that's legendary that's really going out for real like that's how everything goes go, damn i remember that song i remember yeah. this song it's like it's like you know songs from like you know tupac biggie that yeah. you hear those songs and it's like they they died out unfortunately because they're legends i don't want to you know put them down it those types of songs died out but when you listen to you know radio stations you listen to you, you scroll on tiktok and you hear like those those songs again like they do like remixes on them they yeah, do they this do 
and, and they do all that yeah it be sometimes that like you really think it does die out but when you go chill with some old heads for real they really still playing just they really do still playing just tupac and biggie yeah like, that is old, true all like all 80s and 70s music they playing really only and that's the that's where a lot of people's fan base be at too exactly. it's not just all about the youngins there's a lot of youngins but the old heads be really be playing the musics too but they we just don't be realizing it until until later in your life, yeah, exactly. And then too, you know, dropping by, yeah. yeah and it. then too, like when you have the drill songs, they have these the you know like the uh, K Flock type beats. They're all sampled songs, and you listen to these sample songs, they're all like these old like rock songs and all these pop songs from like the eighties and shit. And they sample it, and then so. when you have an audience that's listening to your drill, and then somebody writes, "Oh, this was a song sampled from like nineteen seventy four You're gonna have people that listen to that song when it first came out in 74 listen to this new song and be like oh i love that sample yeah i remember listening to this song it's great that they brought that song back you're gonna gather a whole new audience in with that and that's how yeah, you're gonna grow as an the artist. problem with that it's fire these samples is hard as shit but dude uh, you trying to if you guys trying to go to apple music with that shit nope you, gotta, you, gotta you can't be making but like dude like all the hardest beats on youtube are like samples so it's so right weird now, but i feel like samples is like really to bring yourself out like and really too if you really got your a, a built fan base already yeah that's a fact for yeah, real yeah and then you could like shawnee bin laden like he's sampling the hell out of that shit you feel me but he, i don't know he, how he's making money off his music doing that no i think there's well, a loophole around bro. the samples i mean that's what happened with the uh, ice ice baby he had a it was dun 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 dun, and then the original one uh, it was under pressure by Queen. It was dun 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 dun. dun. He added that extra dun to it, and that's how we won that uh, court case. Uh. So there's a loophole. There's a loophole around that's crazy. samples. There's loopholes to do it. So that's how these people be doing it. Since you don't learn, to <laughs> yeah, I just crazy. taught y'all a little uh, music history lesson. <laughs> All you aspiring uh, sample drill artists. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think drill, I don't think drill gonna die, and especially with any. Like all the artists that's doing drill right now, I'm not talking about every artist, but a lot of artists that's doing drill right now, they're very talented. It's not like saying that they're just a drill rapper. They are all our rapper. So once drill dies out, they going they could switch a lane real quick and they gonna Yeah, switch they know that. And they, they gonna, gonna have to. Look at Smoke, his last album, he was starting to do more of like R and B stuff. He did the song with Dua Lipa. He did the. Uh, like what you know about love. like that's not anything like drill yeah. shit but he was expanding his range like if you have an artist who's versatile who can do different subgenres that's going to keep them moving forward especially when a, mm -hmm. a subgenre dies out and these are not like no one hit wonders yeah. Yeah. exactly these are drill people that as soon as they make a song right now and drill like if they up for real and they make another song it's going up uh, as much as the last song that you dropped it's not no one hit wonders when it came to anybody that's big dropping a big drill song what do you think about this too like uh like to blow up nowadays like you can't just drop a song like you have to like have like a promo video you got to like show your face nowadays maybe make a dance on tiktok like you can't just blow up with an audio file nowadays and you used to be able to but not anymore you have to be on some tiktok shit or some youtube shit or some instagram shit any of that shit i already know i already know nothing is cheap basically how it goes is like this you can't just, like you said, you can't just upload a song and expect it to move. Unless, like I said before, you got a whole fan base with you already that's going to make it move. But if you don't, you, everybody that still has a fan base and making it move there are still dropping money on promotions. If they're not dropping money on promotions, it's because they got the connection with that person. But that connection Facts. costs yeah. money. Meaning that, like, you gotta get to that point anyway. Yeah, you gotta get to that you point. Got, you got to pay to get to that person. Yeah, somehow. bro. Niggas yeah. playing me. A label I used to work with, they were showing me mad love. I met Lil Durk. I met Jay Chris, Rich the Kid, all these famous niggas. Niggas just kicked me to the curb. Like, niggas is pussies, bro. Niggas from Harlem, 40 years old, shit with kids, like, doing that shit to me. Niggas just kicked me to the curb. Not literally, but you get it. Like, yeah, yeah, that shit definitely. is... So me so like i've realized i was better off on my own anyways but like niggas you feel me these labels and shit like bro nowadays you have to have a fan base if you want to blow up you can't just like think somebody's gonna pick you up like i heard that from somebody and uh these labels and shit like watch them they're gonna show you all that shit at your fingertips and then they're just gonna kick you to the curb it. like they did to me they make their money but, and then they forget about but it, like I, 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 I did good though after i left so it's like something that a lot of people don't they just get in a hole and they're done <laughs> Especially with a label wants to like if if you can't do it yourself, how do you expect a label to help you? Like 
if you just go through your upload music to Apple Music and that's it, nah. That's what everybody does. That's what everybody's doing right now, though. Like, yeah, they do music videos, but like, that's people still think they could do that, and they can't. You need a music video. It's you a need statistic on. You can check it on Spotify. TikTok. Right now. You need Spotify videos. Statistic. You need people dancing on TikTok to your songs. You put a dollar to your song. In, in Excuse promotion, me. You already upping yourself eighty percent from all the users that's already in um on um, have music on Spotify. Yeah. It's just like you playing basketball. Yeah, everybody in this room play basketball. Facts. You feel right? Yep. But who is actually going to the gym? Who's actually going to an actual Not my black team? ass. Yeah, yeah. Who's actually showing itself on video, doing like putting doing in the, the warm ups? Gym. Yeah. Like that's I'm, the people who succeed. I might got yeah. a. I might got. He might. Uh, let me not down. He might got a better shot, jump shot than me, right? Or if I'm putting in more of the overall work. You're gonna Who gonna look better? Yeah. You. You. So then, then, then he's just gonna. That's how it eventually be. So that, once you it's put a dollar, yeah, it's yeah. about putting yourself out there. Exactly. Yeah. If if you, somebody else can be way worse than you, but they have the marketing, the fan base, all that shit, and they're gonna get way more attention than somebody who's really thanks. good, who ain't doing, sh who's not getting their name out there. Because exactly. there's a lot of, and, and you know what it's called? It's called being underrated. Because if you're underrated, you're way better than that other person. You're just not getting the love and support exactly. as you exactly. should be getting, you know? That's exactly what be happening. And I, yeah. That's why a lot of people be like, oh, well, how is this person up there? Nah, it's because this person's doing the work. He's Next topic. The work. Exactly. And that's what it really God. comes down to, for real. If anything else, if you're not putting no work, you can't expect nothing. Like, Hard work does pay off in the end. Because these lazy people, no work ethic. They're going to get tired and they're going to quit. The people that are out in the studios every day, out, you know, writing lyrics every day, listening to beats every day, working their ass off, wanting this dream, are the ones that are going to make it in the long run. It may be a hard road to get to, but when you get to that, it's going to feel way better than someone who just didn't work for it, you know? Yeah, even like, I thought, I thought Lolo Brooke just blew up for real when she went this year. Come to find out, she was signed from since 2016. What? Yeah. That's crazy. She's been working for since that's how much it was in 2023? Nine years ago. What's like trending right now? Like in Jersey, like everybody's like talking about some shit. Like in the Bronx, like like what's everybody like talking about? Like what's trending right now out there? Shit. Bandman drill. Bandman is trending out yeah, there? Yeah. It's all that Jersey club what shit. That's yeah. exactly, yeah. That's all that. My friends that are niggas could just say Jersey I Club, like, bro. He just got North a song don't even that, fuck with, with, with him because he. Too, band, yeah. I'll tell you real quick, Bandman, like you know how he's from North, like all the people in North just feel like like he just like left and started to go Miami and he just left them. So like people don't even really know this all around the world, but like the people in North don't even really fuck with Bandman because he just like left them and started making mad money and showed no love back to the community. That's how it is when you live in those places. You gotta show love. You, gotta you show ain't love you. You can't just think you gotta. You gotta why you think? It. Feel me? Like, I've been there all the times. You know how French Montana be coming to the hood and shit and, like, talking yeah. to... Yeah. Like, gotta, I be at them shits and shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, everybody yeah. thinks there's, they're, French Montana is their man. You got a hundred niggas outside and everybody's like, yeah, that's my man. Yeah. <laughs> you know that? yeah, you right? Love your, listen, because your hometown is what made you the person you are today. Listen, I I come from different because my hometown... That's why French is smart. Like, coming they, to the hood every other week. that whole shit happened with me. Montana. I show love to my hometown because hey. they gave me yeah. something to oh, yeah. motivate me. Like, so, I'm so if you do bad. that, it's crazy. And that's why with this song, it's a Jersey club. Jersey Told me drill Bobby Schmerda, he said he wants no that's part crazy. of drill. That's why, like, nigga wasted seven of the years of his life. He don't, he's not dumb. He don't want, he's like, I'm not doing that shit again. He's like, what? Yeah. He, probably, he probably found some other source of money. Feel me? Oh, like, yeah, he did. He definitely does, like, yeah. did. Cause like he haven't like really dropped nothing real for real like that. But he's Bro, and the shit he does drop, like, I'm sorry. It's just it's. I mean, it's like all like ass shaking like shit like that. He's like, oh, I'm a hoochie daddy, and it's just like you feel me. It's not as hard as his old shit. He's just making music for fun now. He's yeah, not on some drill and shit. The, he doesn't want to link yeah, none of the people in New York to do no drill bro. songs. You know, I mean, people, drill rappers probably hit a Bobby, like. He's not on that time no more. Hit him up when he was in jail. I had that one song, and he did a song. Yeah, but you gotta understand, Bobby probably got a mill for that, just like Kodak. Why you think Kodak took that? I seen that shit with Ka did. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Let's talk about that. Wasn't Kaden there or something like that? He was there. Yeah, Kaden was there, um, and was there too. The same person that's going. A lot of younger people out here though. Yeah, bro. That would have been a good. That would have been a good music video, low key. That shit would have been. Like he's like his fan base is a lot of kids. 
bro, that was inspirational to his fullest, bro. I was, yo, I was mad. Just to see, like, how, like, everybody knows like, him and shit. Yeah, but it's just, like, And the power of social media. Everybody knew where the look was. It's not to say that he, it was like he was doing it all for the wrong things. He got a good plan. He didn't course. know that much people was going to yeah, play. He yeah, didn't know he was really lit that like that. I know there was the one party. He knew, was, but he didn't know he yeah, was really lit like, like they, that. They do that. Like, that's the thing. Like, and that's why he got arrested, which, listen. And now he's got charges. It, and that shit ain't going to. It sucks to he say could probably that pay for it to get erased. It, listen. It, yeah, he's you don't want no it, record, it bro. because, you know. He didn't. I don't think he probably had a permit or nothing. That's why they yeah, probably yeah. did it. He didn't have the permit, and it's since he's the one that incited, you know, having everyone. I'm not trying to say incited, where the fuck like, was the PS5s though? Like, like niggas was just running around the streets. Thing. Like, where was their truck with the PS5s or some it. shit? He was the one responsible, which sucks. But like, it sucks because they made it made him look bad. But he had no bad intentions, and it just he got caught in a bad. Well, the cops they don't care about that. If and they don't bad care. intentions. Thing, look what he did. Look at look how kids were acting, jumping on the top of cars. I don't feel like it made him look bad at all. Like, I know that. I, I feel like well, he just the hits the headline. Nah, it just made him. Yeah. Like, at the end of the, tomorrow, I mean that day he probably yeah it was bad, but the next he's day, the biggest streamer in the world. Exactly. People in he China. Went, he, went, he, he went higher. Like he went higher. More people knew who he was yeah, now because that, you have yeah. like the old you have the people on like that watching the news like. Cause it was on like every news. Day. I was flipping through the yeah. channels. His own like, fans ABC, wasn't even letting him leave. And it wasn't even his fans. Like, like you look at the people. Like, yeah, like the old heads that are watching like the news and shit. And they're like, who's this uh, streamer? All these people out there. Then they're gonna look him up. Then it's gonna get more publicity to him because the people that don't know him are gonna see that shit on the news and they're gonna look him up and be like, oh damn. Yeah, exactly. He was doing it for a good cause. You yeah, know, he, he was, was doing a good doing thing. It, definitely. And that, and listen, he got caught in a bad rap, but man, much respect to him. You know, hope he be second. You know, <laughs> for real. And he's not even like a rapper. Like he don't yeah. even really do that. Like that's not like, like he's streaming. that's that's yeah. from streaming, bro. Like he could go fuck around and make a song if he wants, but that's from streaming. Like we even seen a rapper do like some shit he did in a long time. Like can rappers still do that? Let's, like who wants to turn it up? Why we got the baby and all these people? We have, this is the first time in twenty years that New York City has had other people having the hottest song. I say you know, make ghetto bitch put the hands on the knees uh, about yeah. the baby. Nigga, these niggas got the hottest song in our city. What is New York doing? Yeah. Why is you New York why? not dropping hits? You know why? They're doing it, but they're not hard. They're not that it's hard, not obviously, it's, because it's they're not. New, they're the picking the baby, sta- ghetto yeah. bitch on the knees, and I mean, sexy like red pound town. But it's not expanding. Like, and all that saying. shit. That's why I feel like, you know, I said this a while back. I said a while back, I was like, drill is like a regional thing sometimes. Because you mean regional but, thing? Because like there's some like I know people in different states and shit that don't be really listening to drill music like we well, because duh, drill, we know that drill music's <laughs> everywhere. Like when Pop Smoke came on, a lot of people listen to Pop Smoke and that's drill and he expanded the drill game and that's what people have to look at Ice Spice. You know, Ice Spice not really drill but like she's New York and she's expanded. She's on that Barbie movie and shit. That's what people gotta do. They gotta promote and market themselves to expand that New York brand. Yeah. She's the only one out of New York that has like top chart one hundred songs, and uh, but that's a female. That's the thing. That's Where are these dudes at? Yeah. Why is it all? I you, mean, Batman. You, just you remember a, when uh, Pusha T back in Blood, and then yeah, you feel me? Him. We had the beatbox. Hey, man, little, like you, all these dudes. You know what happened? They get we get in trouble we're going to jail. They try to throw my ass in jail. Like I didn't have insurance the other day. Niggas, they do me dirty. The white kids, they're just gonna say. <laughs> Yeah, you good. You make sure you have insurance because this could be really bad right now. No, they pull me out the car and uh, yeah. two officers like escort me like like not. They help me get out the car. Niggas trying to DUI, test me. Niggas is like, I'm talking to them. They're like, you pulled out that parking lot. What are you doing? Niggas like, you a liar. I'm like, all right, I'm consenting. Tell me. It's just they, they be bothering us black people, bro. They bother us, bro. They be bothering me, bro. Like, and so me, I keep getting in trouble, nigga. I'm gonna be doing time. I, I'm gonna be in jail with people, nigga. Like I didn't realize, but this driving shit that like, nigga, like you could go to jail by just not even paying tickets or miss a court date. So you know what happens uh, if I miss my court date? August 12th, I'll court. have a warrant out for my arrest. You feel me? So it's just nah, they, you know what it is too. I'm a, they they be telling niggas. They almost hit me with a be, warrant. Just be on, be reading. They looking at their mailbox. You you open your mail? Yeah. I can be reading my mails. Everything? <laughs> mail Not me. Mail, see if I got any checks, got anything, you know, any alerts, any of that. Oh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be checking, you checking your mails? Hell yeah, they changed my court dates and my dad's on that. This oh, nigga's like, bro, they changed your court date. Yeah, yeah, my wow. shit was supposed to be August 6th. I didn't even know. If I wouldn't have known, I, I would have got a warrant out for my arrest. Mail, like... 14 days in Monmouth County, bro. 
you see what they're doing to me? You know, I don't even gangbang. I don't even do that shit. And, like, I, I, I could be getting jail time. And everybody who be driving who be getting in trouble, too. That could happen to us. Like, you could be with someone who's doing five years for blicking a gun, you feel me, and got caught with the blick. And I'm just here because something was hanging my mirror and you gave me a ticket for it and I didn't pay or some shit. Like, yeah, no, that's, that's crazy. Idea, like, niggas is bothering me, bro. The cop pulled me over young. They're all young now because all these old cops, they can't take this shit no more. But they still, bro, New York is bad with the cops, bro. These dudes straight be on video and know they're on video punching the kids in the, their face. Even grown adults and shit. Punching them in their face. They're their own gang themselves, right? Yeah, yeah. Worst gang. They be doing them shit around them and nobody be saying nothing yeah, but some of the smart, intelligent and black people, they, they do sue and, and be winning these cases. Yeah, they, they began, I, like, I started watching this couple of YouTube. Yeah, that, yeah they those YouTube videos, yeah. I've been watching, like, the, the, the cop. The, but the now I know why these 50-year-olds who get pulled over, people. black men and shit, be selling these cops. Like, bro, you've been bothering me since a kid, though. Like, I'm just thinking about when I get older. Like, I'm already got, like, 10. I got mad. I got way more than 10 tickets. I got mad shit going on. I get in trouble with the law and shit. Feel me with my car. And feel me being on foot, doing drills, all that shit. But like, niggas, they'll, bro, they'll throw you in jail, bro. Like, shit, nothing. It's crazy. Bro, that night they was trying to put the cuffs on me, bro. Yeah. He's like, bro, you can just go sit back in the car. You're supposed to be the cu crazy, cuffs yeah. are now. You're detained, but you're good, bro. I'll let you go. Nigga was not finding none. The other four cops that was there for the stop, this nigga streamed me like El Chapo. He asked me about guns multiple. You won't ask a white kid about guns one time. You asked me five different times. Like, uh, oh, like, so, like, any guns? Like, what? Like, bro, like, stop bothering me, bro. I'm not doing nothing, bro. I'm not doing yeah, nothing. That's, I'll be dealing with it all the time now, bro. Yeah, like I said before, if shit happened to me. I, I did some way crazier shit than you, and I got off with, with just the tickets that I was this actually This was like get. skied and like the cops like let him up. go. I should have been arrested. And what, what did he do? He said, he was just skied and the cops this. knew and still let him go. If we was skied and shit, like, nah, nigga, yeah. we be skied yeah. during that oh, shit, but they, we on point. Up. Us black niggas is not about to be properly. acting like no goofy niggas skied. I wish I had the body cam footage. Even drunk, we can hold ourselves. We're not, we know what they about to do. I think around like last year, been like for the past two, three years, it's like, what the first thing they do is trying to get niggas out the car so they can search. That's what they keep doing to me. And I'll be by myself, bro. It'd be on some regular shit, bro. Like, you you didn't stop at the stop sign. Yo, let's get the car out the car. You feel me? The initial stop is the stop sign. Not, why you, you feel me? And I wasn't even mad. So I got a thing from hanging, the air fresher hanging from my mirror. And then no insurance, which I had. But my parents wasn't answering. They were sleeping. I'm like, I'm local. You local, like, you got to do me like that? And, like, feel me? Niggas did me like that. But, yeah, bro, like, niggas piece, like, yeah, like, come stump out the whip, like. And two officers come and extort, like, and then escort me and try to, like, DUI test me and all that shit, which didn't happen. But his other dudes is, like, standing at the stop watching this kid, this rookie cop. Some niggas look bored, like, they don't even want to be there because he don't got none. He's, like, holding his waist, like... Like, not knowing what to do. Nigga, the stop is for this and no insurance. Fuck it. Uh, you're, you're thinking, this nigga's, I'm standing by my whip, feel me, outside, not in cuffs, just swinging my arms. This nigga's thinking I got, like, 32 guns in the back. Nigga's thinking, like, this is going to be, like, the biggest drug bust. I'm like, this, I was just saying this, but this is not what this nigga's thinking is. And I told my dad, feel me? Black as shit. I'm like, bro, I thought it's because I'm light skinned, they're going to treat me like a white boy and just nah. be like, yeah, man, just uh, go back. This could be really mad. My dad was like, ha, they ain't treating your black ass like that. They know what niggas you dead, know bro. Niggas, you feel me? Niggas dead treat me like a black they, male, bro. Nah, they know, I thought since they I was light skinned, niggas might treat me like a white person, but nah, niggas treat me like yeah. dead, a black male, bro. And I put it like that because that's how they treat us black males, bro. Yeah, that's that's about that should be, I be getting hyped up talking about cops and shit, bro. I, I don't like them, bro. They're not good. They don't help the community. Unity, bro. Was like driving to Woodbury to go get some clothes, me and my brother, and it was me, and my brother, and um, we had two shorties and shit with us. Where so, they pulled us over, they pulled us over for no obvious reason. The first thing he tried just to you and two Johns in the back. Yeah, it was, it was not. Nah, he he was in the front with one, and I was in the back with one. Oh, and Kate and my son Kate was there too. They pulled us over, bro. Man, when they tried to pull us over, they tried to get everybody's ID. So I'm like, wait, hold Which up. is sketchy. But well, I'm like, yo, yeah, hold up. Unless we have an active reason. And again, but why, watch what he about to say. Watch yeah, what he about to say. I know my, I, so I knew them right. So I was like, yo, bro. He, so he took K. He took KID. I'm like, yo, my, I, I know my rights. So I'm like, yo, K. What you like? What you mean taking ID? What you doing? Like, 
He was like, nah, he don't, he don't got his seatbelt on, and he in the back seat. Oh. So I was like, ah, right, you got that. I. Right. So then now nah, he went to the girls now. The girls was like, yo, give me your ID. I'm like, nah, we, the girls, they going in this shit to give him ID. I'm like, nah, you bugging. They both got their seatbelt on, so you ain't, they ain't committing not one single crime. Where this at? So you Woodbury. don't give the, um, Woodbury. Where, where? where the I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, 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 facts, yeah. So I'm like. Also pigs out there. What bunch of sheriffs. You know, ain't getting put by a regular cop. Sheriffs, damn, bro. Once you got the hat like this. The they had the hat like that? Oh, yeah, bro. Fuck, bro. It's not fuck. one car put. There's one car, then it's going to be another four, five, six of them. I had four, four, car, car, I had four, four cars on me for shit. Because I was, yeah. I was part. I they profiled you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And, I'm, and listen, I got away with it. They thought you had guns. I was with in the car with me. She, uh, <laughs> I'm telling we, you. We were just parked up. And she, uh, and I parked the wrong way, but I put my hazards on. Right when I saw the cop, I put my hazards on just to make it look like that. He gets out He gets out the car. He's like, is everything all right? You're parked the wrong way. And I'm like, oh, uh, I slipped my phone underneath my seat. And I was like, I dropped my phone. I'm trying to get it real quick. He's like, all right. He's like, he's like, oh, can I see your ID? He's like, and I'm like, can I see your ID? They ain't letting us do another like, and then, like but then he was like, Yo, can move. I see your ID real quick? I'm like, I don't really gotta show my ID, but like, I'm, he's like, you just gotta make sure you have no warrants. I'm like, and I just said, you know what? Fuck it. I got no warrants. He just give it. And I was, scared. I was scared he was gonna give check the girl out because the girl I was with was she, underage. Had a warrant. she had a warrant and she didn't tell me till uh, after she's like where, oh, what I they gonna do to us when they feel if they, if our so phone dropped or we need their phone this, they would have done some fuck they're gonna take us out the whip but they're not we're exactly. not getting their phone that, that's their chance and to that, take us black males and, out and the and whip and a lot of people disgusting, be getting bro. caught for real because they don't know their rights but not you gotta not, know your rights it's not all about I knowing your rights I kinda know bro it's it's like knowing your rights like say you you got 0% chance that you don't know your rights but like as a black man, if you know your rights, you got a fifty percent chance. You gonna be good. You gotta know the valid reason to check your ID. Valid reason to check uh, yeah. inside the car. A lot of us are not really like educated on that. Some of them don't give a, a lot of them. A lot of situation, bro. They don't give yeah. a fuck. Because bro. there's a difference yeah, between a traffic violation yeah. and an actual crime. If you're sus uh, suspected of committing an actual crime, then they have the right to search. But if you're just doing like a traffic violation where you're like you, you speed or this and that, they can't search you. Like they they don't have the right to do that.